Emmanuel says, what do you think of girls who believe that we boys have to win them as if they were some sort of prize? It is not them who think that way. It is the whole history and the society and the way they've treated them, they've made them feel that that is the way to think about themselves. And in this day and age, not all think that way, but mostly do because they do have that feeling of being precious. And they are. Women are precious, adorable lovable, protectable, they should be protected, loved, adored, and um, taken care of. However, if that is what they themselves think, well, that's not a good idea. Because if it's offered to them because they're so amazingly wonderful and they choose to accept it or cooperate with it or, you know, have a hand in its creation of that whole atmosphere of being, you know, precious, then great. But if they just sit on a pedestal and hope that somebody comes and for no reason pays a certain kind of attention to them that they don't do Deserve, and they haven't really made anything out of themselves. Well, that's not their fault either. That's the fault that most men think that's how it should be. The world has changed. Everybody should focus on the persona of the one that they're having a relationship with, not the historical value of it and the image that has been created in their heads uh, through the history and through the society rules and customs and so on. Because we must have respect for each other. And, and to have respect for each other, we got to appreciate and recognize the ability of every Every one of us. You cannot disrespect women by just thinking that they are, a, you know, just an ornament or incapable of being anything other than being beautiful. You must respect women for what they are, and what they are is far different than what they used to be 500 years ago. They're intelligent, they're educated, they're capable, they can do whatever they put their mind to it, just like every one of us boys, and no difference. So if that is so, which it is, then you gotta expect more from women. You gotta expect expect more than just their beauty and their fitness and their amazement, amazing looks and all that. You got to respect them by expecting them to offer more, bring more to the table than their body. Because if you think of women as just body, that's a disrespect, direct disrespect for their entity and their efforts to make something amazing out of themselves and through the experiences of life that they've gone through. They are a intelligent entity capable of so many things and so many amazing uh, scientists and researchers and experts in different fields are now women. So if that's the case, you got to recognize that. Therefore, when you want to have a relationship with a woman, you got to expect a lot more than you used to expect about her to just be pretty. Because you cannot have a relationship with pretty. You're not having a relationship with pretty. You're having a relationship with the intelligence, with the consciousness, with the persona of that woman. And therefore, you got to get to know what that persona is like. What does it bring to the table? What does it offer? What does it expertise are just as you are mandated to offer that. You bring your education, your manners, your morals, your expertise, your compassion, your love, your caring, your ability to provide. All of that is you, your persona. You don't go in and say, hey, I'm I'm handsome. Take me. The girls are smart in that. They say, oh, fuck off. Because that's not what the relationship is going to be made by. That's not what life and lifestyle and everything, every challenge of life is going to be met with. They want someone who can appreciate what life is all about and they've made something out of themselves. So you come up with full gear. You take good care of yourself. You get fit and, um, you know, hygiene and everything else and your education and your abilities and your compassion and your love and your care, your uh, unselfishness. You bring these with you to the meeting. You got to expect the same. You cannot say, I bring all these things and me, but all you have to do is just show up. Well, yeah, I know how it is. You're a boy. You know, that's all it takes for a girl to show up. She's qualified in every way. But no, change that because she's lost more than what you've been told. She's not just pretty. She's not just gorgeous. She's not just everything that you thought she was as through the history. She's also intelligent, educated, capable, and compassionate, unselfish, loving. All of that is within her capability. So look for it and expect it. Just as you offer, you expect all that. In this way, you will respect woman in her entirety. And you will not demean woman by thinking of them. They're just a physical entity uh, for pleasure and enjoyment and that's all they are. It's false. They are a lot more than that and you know it, therefore expect it. In that way, then you will have a relationship between the two personas, yours and her persona. And then the fact that she's beautiful and sexy and all that and you're good looking and fit and all that, well, that's a bonus for both of you. Otherwise, it won't work because your relationship is not with pretty, neither one of you, and your relationship between the two is between the two consciousnesses and the consciousness have been conditioned with the content and that has taken place through the 
efforts you have shown in your life and the experience you've gone through, the things you have learned, and all that collective should be brought in, put on the table when you guys want to meet and make something out of that together. That is called respect and a possibility of a good relationship. That's what I have to say about that.